Hello friends, this video on forests our lifeline part 9 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us now quickly look at some of the questions. Question number 1. Explain how animals dwelling in the forest help it grow and regenerate. Now there are a couple of things in which animals help the plants either in their growth or in their reproduction. So one such uh, function is pollination. So pollination is the first step of sexual reproduction in plants. So what happens is pollen in pollination is the pollen grains are transferred from the male reproductive part to the female reproductive part. And this transfer is facilitated by uh, insects, birds, small animals like rats. So with the help of these animals, the pollen transfer takes place. So pollination is one thing where animals help plants. Seed dispersion, that is carrying away seeds from one place to another. That is why like normally the seeds are produced from uh, the plant part itself. So in fact, the ovary of the plant becomes the fruit and the ovule becomes the seed. We have learned about this in the lesson on reproduction. So this uh, seed is being dispersed or it is being transferred to some other places by animals like birds or some other animals with uh, their paws or with their legs it, it gets carried away to other places and because of that the seeds give rise to new plants in the other location also so seed dispersion is another thing where animals help plants to grow in different areas so plants can get new habitats and animals help in carrying them Decomposition again, uh, if you see bacteria, fungi, these are also animals which help in decomposing the dead organic matter and that and therefore improve the fertility of the soil. So that is also one benefit for the forest because when the fertility of the soil improves, it helps in further growth of plants. Question number two, explain how forests prevent floods. Now. In, in case of forests, the rain, whenever there is heavy rainfall, the rain water directly do not hit the ground. Why is that? That's because of the presence of the forest canopy. Now, the forest consists of a huge number of tall trees, uh, small trees, shrubs, herbs. Now, these tall trees, all of them have different crowns of different shapes. Now, all these crowns together, they form a roof of the forest. So whenever it rains very heavily, the rain water instead falling directly to the ground, it drips through the gaps in between the canopies and that's how it uh, falls drop wise through the leaves and over the branches of the trees and that's how it gradually reaches the ground. So that prevents water logging on the ground which in turn prevent floods because it doesn't allow rain water to directly hit the ground. So water drips slowly through branches and leaves. So water logging is prevented and hence flood is prevented. Question number three. What are decomposers? Name any two of them. What do they do in the forest? So decomposers as the name say decompose. That is they destruct something or they break down something. So these are organisms which feed on dead bodies of plants and animals. So what they basically do is they break down the complex organic matter of dead bodies to simple inorganic forms which uh, form the humus in the top layer of soil and therefore improve the fertility of the soil. So that is their main function. So some examples of decomposers are bacteria and fungi. They are also known as saprotrophs because they feed on dead decaying matter and sapro means dead and decaying matter. So these are the examples of decomposers. Question number four. Explain the role of forest in maintaining the balance between oxygen and carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. The forest consists of a huge number of trees and these trees they undergo photosynthesis. So during photosynthesis they take up carbon dioxide and they release oxygen as a product of photosynthesis. So this is what the plant does during photosynthesis and this is not done by just a single plant all the plants in the forest that means a huge amount of oxygen is released and a huge amount of carbon dioxide is taken up now what happens to this oxygen so this oxygen in turn is taken up by the animals during respiration and that is when animals breathe in they take in oxygen and they give out carbon dioxide so whichever whatever amount of carbon dioxide is released by animals during breathing out 
all that carbon dioxide is taken up by the plant so therefore plants maintain the right amount of oxygen and carbon dioxide in the atmosphere and because of this property uh, plants are also termed as the green lungs of nature question number 5 explain why there is no waste in a forest so why don't we have waste in a forest of course that is because of the process of decomposition so all the waste materials all the organic waste the dead and decaying matter human excreta animal excreta everything is uh, decomposed by the decomposers and they are converted into humus and therefore humus is present in the soil and it improves the soil fertility so we do not see any waste in the forest question number Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.